Research in social sciences has been categorized, keeping in view the research designs that have been adopted for particular studies and the research aims and objectives. Two broader categorizations of research in social sciences include categorization based on the purpose of research studies and categorization based on research designs or research methodologies. In this brief presentation, I would like to briefly discuss the categorization of research in social sciences based on its based on its purpose so in terms of the purpose of research um, research in social sciences has been categorized into two broad categories one is called basic research and the other one is called applied research so what is basic research what is applied research in social sciences context and what is the difference between these two we will briefly discuss this um, in the following section in the following slides so first of all what is basic research basic research is also called fundamental research or pure research and the aim of basic research as the very name of it suggests is actually its focus on exploring basic principles behind social phenomena. In other words, uh, this type of research is basic because the aim of the researchers is actually not the application of the research product but actually adding to our understanding regarding social phenomena and so the very basis of basic research is actually expanding our understanding and adding to the theory of the particular field in which we are conducting that inquiry or that study. Um, and so uh, rather than focusing on any practical applications, it focuses on enhancing our understanding regarding social phenomena. It also um, is uh, actually improving or developing theories related to particular fields of study. And the focus of basic research is actually on the what, uh, what, is ha what is happening, why is something happening, when is something happening, and why is something happening when it is actually happening um, in social contexts. The focus is on the generalization of research outcomes rather than its application in particular fields. And here we make use of more academic technical terminology and language in, in basic research. Um, a very simple example in the field of education, for instance, could be a study of factors impacting students' aptitude. Um, similarly, uh, so we are actually not interested, we are not conducting this particular study in order to apply uh, the findings of our study in some classroom situation or something, uh, or to improve the teaching learning situation in a particular school or classroom, but actually <clears throat> to generally explore and understand what factors impact students' aptitude uh, and what are the, what are the factors, the sub-factors that actually uh, impact students' attitude, maybe towards uh, aptitude in particular subjects or in particular areas of knowledge. So this is an example. Similar example could uh, also be given in other subjects in, such as psychology or sociology or other fields of social sciences. Now we move on to the applied uh, research and um, as the very name suggests, applied research actually means research that aims at 
the application of social research outcomes in a practical sense. In other words, the focus of the researcher is not, not adding to theory or to the theoretical understanding of concepts, but, but actually to conduct research that helps in improving, um, in improving practices or that impacts research, research outcomes actually impacts practice. And so it improves practices such as, for example, um, the focus of such studies is actually on uh, how to solve issues of practical import to practitioners such as teachers or, or maybe psychologists or lawyers or um, any other social actors. Um, in contrast to the basic research, applied researches are reported in less academic research and more understandable uh, language, which are actually easier for, uh, for, for practitioners to apply in practical, uh, to, to take meaning of in practical sense. And uh, a simple example of applied research could be as in, in the education context, a study that find ways to improve classroom teaching in particular school. So um, let's say that a particular school uh, principal is interested in improving, in finding ways to improve the classroom teaching in their school. And so a study that actually is conducted conducted with the purpose of improving classroom teaching in that particular school, or maybe a study conducted by teachers in classroom situations um, could be considered as examples of applied research. So keeping in view this, uh, the practical focus of applied research, we could say um, action research is an example of applied research where the focus of the researcher is not on adding to the theory of a particular field or a particular subject, but actually um, the focus is on improving, research, uh, improving practice. And so this kind of research informs practice and is aimed at improving practice. So I hope this uh, brief presentation um, might have kind of helped in, uh, in developing our understanding related to these two broader categories of research in terms of the research purpose, that is basic research, which aims at the development of theory and applied research, which is actually aimed at improving practice.